Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for January 29th to February 4th. This is a singles reading. I'm sure couples will watch it too. So if it resonates, so be it. If it doesn't, then just take what does and leave the rest. Oh, many of you are moving away, moving to calmer, a calmer place in your life. Leaving something behind, shedding the old, working on yourselves. Not accepting an offer, perhaps. Maybe you're not accepting an offer. There's no new offers coming in. Coming out of the dark, seeing the light. Starting a new journey, having faith and trust in the future. But there's a lack of confidence here of some sort, lack of victory, lack of success, probably with somebody else. Maybe you are declining an offer because you see no victory in that. You've thought about it. You've, you've taken the time to think about something. No impulsive, uh, not going to make any impulsive uh, moves at this time. You know, because you're trying to avoid a disruption. But unfortunately, there is some sort of disruption here with the tower card. The tower comes out to bring something in that doesn't, to, to bring a shock or an upheaval or a breakdown into your life so that, so that something can fall apart that isn't meant to be in your life that forces you to take a new path and to let something go. So, I mean, if you look at this lineup, it looks like the tower is here the, to make something change, to make a change happen, to force you to let something go and start something over, start, start, start anew with faith and trust. Yeah, and there you are. And both of these cards represent you. I just did the Leo reading and I forgot to mention that. But uh, it looks like there's something that needs to end that you need to make end so that a new start can begin. You know, it looks like it's time for this new beginning. And you know that it is. You just have to keep the faith, okay? Keep the faith. And remember to shed the old. There's something that you are carrying around that you don't need to have anymore. And that's what I think that you're letting go of. It's like you're starting to see the light. And you've decided, you know what, it's time for me to work on me. It's time for me to... I'm only looking for success. I'm not looking for failure here. So I think there may be some kind of um, lost opportunity or rejection of, of something new. You know, I, I don't want what you have to offer it because I don't see any victory in that. Something like that. It's like there's no beginning with somebody, okay? Because all you can all you can see is destruction if you were to go down that road. Um, you may be feeling overly emotionally about this. You may be you may have felt like a victim in the past. You know, you may not be feeling really good about yourself at this time. So I'm here to tell you to to remind you to be grateful for all the lessons that you have learned and to really work on yourself. It feels like many of you are feeling down, you may be feeling depressed, you may be feeling like you don't have much to offer, maybe you feel like you don't have enough money, you know, enough, something like that to offer another person. But the thing is, is you're only robbing yourself, you're, this is robbery of some sort, you're robbing yourself by feeling like you aren't good enough. It's time to take back control of yourself or your emotions or whatever of your life. It's time to take back control, take the lead. Maybe you're just focusing on being a parent right now, okay? Because this is a family man, somebody who is very, very focused on taking care of his family, all right? You could have been dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your life. Somebody that was more focused on everything but love. You could also be dealing with a Libra, I mean a Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. And you may have a choice between two people as they're both right next to each other. And I think that could probably be the case. And you may be feeling like you don't know what to do here. 
but we have this page of cups a new offer of love maybe there's a new offer of love or feeling like you want to offer love or this person's offering love to you okay i feels like some truth is going to come out because this is a truth coming out with it being reversed okay and this is love and there's no security and stability here okay so we have the page of cups next to this one and we have the page of of uh, pentacles next to this one. This one is upright. This one is reversed. And it's just, it's just like in one area of your life, you're feeling very insecure, unstable, like you can't move forward. You're ready to quit. Okay. In this area of your life, it's like you want love, perhaps, or to offer love, or to receive love from this person. That's what it looks like to me. I think you have a choice between two people, two roads to go down, and you're not quite sure what to do. Both of them brings you confusion because they're both reversed, both of these queens. And those could be man or a woman. I feel like you are... Um, <sighs> oh, there's some power struggles here between two people, okay? You have to make a choice of what road you're going to go down and which offer you want to take or which offer you want to make, Okay? Now, when the Five of Swords comes out reversed, it says, okay, do you want to prove yourself or do you want to be happy? Do you still want to teach somebody a lesson or do you want to be happy? That's what the message of this card says, reversed. Happiness matters. Happiness matters. And I see a lot of happiness for you. But you have a serious decision to make. This says... Be prepared to live with the consequences of your choices. And you know, you've heard me say this before. Okay, you definitely have to make a decision. That's the Seven of Cups. You have to make a decision in love. Okay, you're looking for or for financial stability or you're looking for love. What is it going to be? That's the choice between these two people. I feel like one of them is a love and one of them is financially more stable than the other one. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. And that's what it looks like. And this will not resonate with every people, with every person that watches it. Um, I feel like you have lost hope in one situation, but that's the situation that you love. And now you're being called to act on your hunches, to take action, to move forward. All right? Speak up. Invest your time in the situation that you love. You know, and there's this is a, a strength card reversed. So there's a lack of strength. There's a lack of confidence. There's a feeling like, what if I get let down? What if I offer this opportunity and this person does not accept? A lack of courage here. Right now, there's no communication, not much, with this person that you love. Because you feel like they may not reciprocate. And I feel like... There's a chance for it to become alive again. There is. But you have to do the right thing. It's time for you to do the right thing. That's when karma comes out or the justice card. It's time for you to do the right thing for everybody involved. Time to stop playing games and make a decision. Third party, th three is a crowd. You need to make a decision. A three and a three. Now you may you have a choice between two people. You do. You have a choice between two people. That's all there is to it. And it's this it is decision making time. It's time for you to focus. It's time for you to really focus on what you want. Really, really focus on what you want. Because with you not moving forward, with you staying stuck, it does not bring a victory. It does not bring success. There's no victory, no success. Okay? There's not. There's no victory, no success with you not making a decision. It's time for you to stop concentrating on what's been lost and realize that there's a pot of gold behind you. There's a cycle here. There's hidden forces. There's a lot of karma. There's a lot of karma. There's secrets. There's secrets here. Somebody is keeping a secret. And it's time to let it out. 
because there's love there's true love here there's like an offer of love that needs to be communicated it does it feels like you deserve more you're wanting this romance you know there's a but there's definitely secrets this is secretive and there's a lot of secrets here somebody's keeping secrets and it's about and this is you this is you and this is um somebody who you may be feeling really withdrawn at this time and maybe even a little cold and detached because you you know what you need to do, but you have this fear of doing what you need to do. It's a time of liberation. Look at it like that. It's a time to stand up for yourself. It's time to do what's right. Let the past go. Because right now you're not manifesting your future by staying someplace where you feel dead inside. I see a new sexual partner or a renewed passion between you and somebody. Should you use your powers within to manifest it or take action you need to take action this is lack of taking action you need to speak your truth instead of instead of um procrastinating stop procrastinating because you have potential for happily ever after if you would just speak up so i feel like there could be an opportunity here you have a choice between two people and I think one of them you love and one of them is more financially stable. And so, you know, you need to choose what it's going to be. You could, for some of you, you could just be working on yourself right now, thinking about these two people and which way to go. I'm telling you to go with the one that your heart sings for. Okay. If your heart sings for somebody, that's the one you go for. Okay, I feel like it is decision making time. It's time for you to do the right thing, even if it means spending time alone to take care of your family. Okay, but you are being called to do the right thing for everybody involved. I do see happily ever after on the horizon, but it's after you make a decision and take action. There could be new love coming into your life. If you're open for it, but you, you're, you're going to have to make a choice between two people. That's what I see. Or two options, two roads. Okay? Or if it's not two people, it's do you focus on love or do you focus on your job? That could certainly be the case. Um, shower of abundance. Now, when I see shower, abundance, before I read this card, abundance comes in many forms. There's abundance of love, abundance of finances, abundance of health. This card talks about finances. In this, card, in this reading, it's a love reading. It's about love. To heal your love situation, first give us your worries concerning love. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your love situation will heal as fast as you'll allow. If you want it to heal, you need to make the choices in regards to love that need to be made. So Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I feel like you have a choice between two people. And I would go with the one that you love. Talk to you later.